right guys uh, we finally did it we got to 325 subscribers and I'm really thankful for that I really appreciate everybody that's been leaving comments in the uh, comment area it's been a long time coming so now it's time for me to hold up my end and we are gonna start looking at some uh, Silver Age books I've been kind of holding on for for a while um, so yeah uh let's get to it uh so i'm gonna show you some dell books uh this one's from 1965 uh nuclea number one um then we have uh captain marvel through um i think it's also a dell book too now i think about it maybe not i don't know what this is let's see here It looks like a Dell book. I don't know. Anyways, that's from 1966. And this is from also 1966. Werewolf. Um, I think these are all first appearances. Here. Um, and then down here it says Plus Plastic Man. So. Also before I forget. This is for. For Mr. Tom Ryan. White pages. Oh, yeah. Here you go, Tom. Back to... Add this pressed and cleaned. Yep. Happy to have that. <clears throat> Just waiting for some person to uh, pay me a copious amount of money for that book. So, but yeah. All right, let's keep this going for these Silver Age books. Uh, we have Dracula, uh, first appearance in Origin of Dracula. Uh, this is from November of 1966. Then we have Superheroes. This is another Dell book. Uh, this is from January of 67. <clears throat> I just picked this up because I like the cover. Uh, Flying Saucer Comics. Uh, this is from... Uh, this is issue 4. This is from November... Of 67. I just like these flying saucer books. Um, then we have Neutro. Uh, number one. This is from January of 67. <clears throat> um, Outer Limits number one. This is the first appearance of the Outer Limits TV show. Uh, this is Dell issue number 17. This is from October of 68. So I'm to get that. And then we have another Flying Saucers comics. Uh, this is issue uh, 15. I'm sorry, issue 5. This reprints issue 1. This is from October of 69. Then we have an Archie book, Archie Joke book, number 93. This is from October 1965. And then we have Chick Young's Blondie Comics Monthly. I don't know what, what issue is this? I don't know what, it, oh no, it's issue number 129. This is from September of 1959. Right. Let's put these back real quick. <clears throat> what do we got? Here we got 
Kid Cult Outlaw number 111. This is from 1963. I didn't put the month and the date for whatever reason. Uh, then we got Brave and the Bold number 80. This is the first appearance of Helgramite, and this is from October of 1968. Uh, we have Fantastic Four number 65. This is the first appearance of Roman the Accuser. And the first appearance of the Supreme Intelligence. This is from August of 1967. And now we have Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number 15. This is the first appearance and death of Bullseye. This is from November of 1969. But I guess this isn't the bullseye as we know it in Marvel. This is supposedly another character, but looks strikingly the same. So this is technically the first Marvel character named Bullseye, I guess. So uh, King Size Special Avengers number one. This is from September of nineteen sixty-seven. Uh, then we have Amazing Spider-Man 76. Uh, this is from uh, September of 1969. I just picked this up because I love the Spider-Man lizard cover. Uh, we have Nick Fury's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number 4. Origin of Nick Fury and Origin of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is from September of 1968. And then we have Tales of Suspense. Number 79. First appearance of the Cosmic Cube. This is from July of 1966. couple X-Men books here. X-Men number 17. This is from uh, February of 1966. And then we have X-Men number 41. This is the first appearance of Gortesk, the subhuman. This is from February of 68. Got some Thor books here. Let me make sure these are in order. Okay, so we have Thor number 124. First appearance of Queen Ula. Second appearance of Hercules. Thor reveals Jane Foster's identity. Uh, this is from January of 1966. And then we have Thor, number 129, first appearance of Ares, first appearance of Hermes, first appearance of Harkonnen, Harkonnen, H-R-O-K-I-N, Harkin, yeah, Harkin, there we go, Harokin, I guess, whatever. Um, this is from June of 1966. We have Thor 135, first appearance, first full appearance of Farf, Farfner, Farfner, whatever that is. Uh, Thor's hammer is referenced, first time uh, for Thor's hammer is referenced as Mjolnir for the first time. Origin of High Evolutionary, this is from December of 1966. We have Thor 148, first appearance of the Wrecker and origin of Black Bolt. 
This is from January of 68. We're going to get into some Doctor Strange books. Um, Doctor Strange 174. This is the first appearance of Satanish. And this is from November of 1968. Then we have Doctor Strange 175. Uh, this is when Charles Benton becomes... Asmodeus, Amadeus, or whatever that is. Whatever, you could look it up. Not going to uh, attempt to try to pronounce this correctly. Uh, Charles Benton becomes whoever this person is. Uh, then later be becomes uh, Yermer and Surtur from their prison. Oh, releases, later releases... Y-M-I-R and Surtur from the prison. Okay, that was a lot of information. Um, this is from December of 1968. That was a mouthful. And then uh, we have Doctor Strange number 77. This is the new Doctor... This is the first appearance of the new Doctor Strange costume. And this is from February of 1969. And then we have Doctor Strange number 180. This is from May of 1969. I don't know why these are over here. They can be right there. Um, so... What I'm going to do is, this is just a small sample of some of the Silver Age I have. I didn't realize I have a, a lot of, I have a, well over 100 Silver Age books in my collection. And it was just like, whoa, I didn't expect this many. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put these in parts. I don't want to, you know, put up a 25 minute video and then put up another 25 minute video. I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to give these, in, like I said, in parts. Um, I am going to try to do another part next weekend. I have a show to go to, and then I have a birthday party that weekend too. So I'm going to try to upload a s second part to this video. You know, you guys just got to bear with me. I'm a little bit busy these days. Um, so, but yeah, first things first, thank you so much for getting me to 325 subscribers. Um, also, on the flip side... Almost half of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, which is that really blew my mind. So if you're one of those uh, passerby guys that like to just pop in and watch my videos, please subscribe. You know, it's just a matter of just hitting a button. I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, literally like 49% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, which I was just like, really? So, um, you know, please subscribe. Um, also, little quick note. If anybody was wondering about this book right here, this is an interesting book. This, let's see it. Eight House Arclight, number one. This is the Image Expo variant. This is the only known copy to be graded by CGC because there's maybe four copies in existence. Um, there is a great article on, uh, um, oh, damn it. I forget the name of the website now. Um, it's a rare collectible comic website. Oh, and I should know. Recall Comics, that's what it is. Recall Comics did an article on this book like two years, three years ago. I had actually had reached out to the uh, the person that runs the website, and I sent them pictures of this book, and they did an article on it. So if you want to, you know, pop in and read about this book, this is I. Uh, I bought this on eBay, had it for a few years, didn't see any more copies pop up. Started to hear chatter that this book might be really super rare. So um, yeah, if you go to uh, like I said, recalledcomics.com, there's an article on it. So it's kind of cool to check it out. This is, I believe, one of four copies that got out to the public that wasn't really supposed to. 
So, um, yeah, but, um, I'm going to be doing another video because I just, I cannot show all these books in one video or probably even two videos. Probably it's going to be like three videos. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to the channel and got me to this milestone. Let's try to get to 500 next, guys. I know we can do it, especially the people <laughs> that watch my videos that are not subscribed. We could get there really fast. Um, so, uh, you know, you know, hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment. I enjoy reading your comments. I try to get back to everybody that uh, leaves a comment, too. So, um, also, like I said, a shout out to Tom Ryan. He really got a kick out of this book sitting back there. Uh, stop by his channel. He's got a bunch of great books. I really enjoy listening to his stuff. So, but until next time, guys, I will see you again. Thanks.